I'm Mo Rocca, and I'm excited to announce season four of my podcast, Mobituaries. I've got a whole new bunch of stories to share with you about the most fascinating people and things who are no longer with us. From famous figures who died on the very same day to the things I wish would die, like buffets, all that and much more. Listen to Mobituaries with Mo Rocca wherever you get your podcasts. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Do you have a point of sale system you can trust or is it <clears throat> a real POS? You need Shopify for retail. From accepting payments to managing inventory, Shopify POS has everything you need to sell in person. Go to shopify.com slash system, all lowercase, to take your retail business to the next level today. That's shopify.com slash system. Can we date you? Hey, everybody. I'm Kelly Wilkness, and I am here with Anita Joyce, and this is Decorating Tips and Tricks. So today, we're going to be talking about how you can create a truly timeless room And it really isn't that difficult, but if you keep our tips and advice in mind, we think that you can transform any room into a timeless room or nod your head in agreement that you already have a timeless room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there um, are really not too many rules to follow with Mm -hmm. regard to creating this timeless look. And it is so worth the effort. Mm -hmm. I think so. It really is so wonderful to have a look that transcends time. And if you have a room like this, it's going to be in pretty good shape for the long haul. And you're not going to be having to make wholesale changes to it very frequently. So I think there's value in that. And then it's worth investing in some pieces if you're going to be able to keep the look for a while. But if it's really uh, not timeless, then, you know, that money may not be coming back. It may not be a great investment to be spending money on something that's only going to be good for a few years. Exactly. So what is a timeless room? What are the hallmarks of a timeless room? Uh, it's a wonderful combination of old and new, luxurious and lived in, classical and modern. Do you have anything to add to that, Anita? I think that's pretty good. And I would say it's not trendy. Yeah. It's not, not, not it's, it's not meaning if a timeless room, you can't, you can't look at it and say that's so 1995 or that's so 2019. Hence our teaser for the intro today, can we date you? Mm -hmm. Of course, we'd love to go out and have dinner with you guys, but we don't mean date you that way. We mean date you, like, can we say when your room was decorated, Mm -hmm. when your house was decorated, when you did X to your kitchen or what have you? Well, and when we say timeless, we're really talking about a style that not only cannot be dated to a particular year, but also Mm -hmm. something that's going to look great for the long haul. That's the other thing that we really mean by this. And there's so many things that when I first started decorating, I thought this is going to be awesome forever. (laughs) This is classic. This is traditional. It will never go out of style. So I learned a couple of lessons early on. One is that traditional does not mean it's a timeless classic. (gasps) Good one, because that might be what people conjure to mind, like this very sort of staid traditional room and fabrics and things like that. And that isn't timeless because exactly what Anita is saying, it's not only that you can't harken back to a certain year, when you look at the decor, it's that this will keep going into the decades and still look great. So for example, I had at one point a Chippendale drop leaf table, coffee table, at which I thought it's a classic. This is going to be around forever. It's based on a design from the 1700s. So it's not new. It's been around for a long time. This is going to be in style forever. Well, the thing is, everyone else had one too. We all had them. And then guess what? A few years later, they were totally out of style. And now I never see them <laughs> except at the thrift store for yeah. you know, like nothing. Right. So there's so many. And another example are the Oriental rugs. And people, 
you know, we've had some listener questions on these. People paid thousands of dollars for them because they felt like these are classics. They've been around forever. These have been around for thousands of years and they're classics and they're in all these expensive homes. They're just such a, a stalwart of, of the design for so many people, for so many designers. And guess what? They're not in anymore. Uh, the red ones that are, were so popular now are, you all have a hard time selling them. Let me put it that way. And so just because something is traditional does not mean it's going to stay around forever. I'm going to just add on to what you said. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. There are mm-hmm. certain items that you think, oh, well, how could that go to a style? But it does. Okay. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that is like that item in a vacuum. You can probably still take that Chippendale coffee table or that Persian rug and make it work mm-hmm. in a timeless style in the context of the entire room or the entire house if Mm -hmm. you use some of these tips because it's not going to everything in that room isn't going to be an oriental rug and a chippendale coffee table and you know a very uh traditional formal this that and the other thing right we're gonna have these other elements in there which will make it timeless and um help those other items Mm -hmm. move forward do you know what i'm saying Right. Well, exactly. So I think there's some things that we can do to prevent your room from feeling dated down the road, but there's just no guarantee that everything in the room will always be super classic that may kind of go out of style. But what you're saying is if one thing does, it can still look good in the context of the entire room. Right. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. And you might like, you know, our, our listener, Rachel, about she was the one that we were talking about the Persian rugs with her. You know, it might just be a point where there's an item that you're just tired of and you don't want it anymore and it doesn't make you feel good and it's not really adding anything to your room. Well, mm-hmm. then, you know, let that one item go. Mm-hmm. Um you know, you don't have to stay tied to things as we discussed that, you know, if it's given you, uh, you know, years of enjoyment and then it stops doing that, then you you make a decision whether it moves on or not. But if you still like the item or you're on the fence or budgetary reasons, you can't get rid of that rug, you can definitely work things in and still create a timeless look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about being multi-layered, right? So it's a kind of multi-layered in the appeal. You've got this lived in feel Yet, it's curated. Mm-hmm. It's edited. You know, you you specifically are uh, putting items together and juxtaposing them, which adds to the timeless feel. It and it, it's not as if like picture a really Laura Ashley <laughs> room, right? That is so dated, right? Mm-hmm. But if you took all those pieces out. And then you added some other items that we're going to talk about today into that room. You could transform a complete Laura Ashley uh, you know, fantasy room into a timeless room. I'm sure it could be done. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think so. I think so. And there are definitely ways ways to do this. And I don't know if we came out and said this, so I want to go ahead and state the obvious. You don't want to be using trendy things to have a classic look. So we've talked about the trendy things are the things that are super hot, the things that everybody has. If it's something everyone has, if it's something you're seeing everywhere, then in a lot of cases, that thing is not going to be in style in a few years It because it gets overused, overdone. People get sick of it. The designers get sick of it. And then no one's using it. No one wants to see it anymore. So right. that's one thing to to keep in mind. Right. I, yeah, that would right off the bat. Good one to, to throw out there. Okay, some additional tips on how to create a truly timeless room. Use symmetry. Mm-hmm. Uh, symmetry is uh, your friend uh, in decorating, for sure. Like Anita has said several times, like, if you love a lamp, buy two, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, if you have your end tables, they don't even have to match exactly, but the size and the visual weight should be the same. It's still giving that feel of symmetry. Now, of course, and we have a whole episode on symmetry and asymmetry, right? So you you do want to throw it off a little bit to make the room interesting, but as a as a baseline tip, use symmetry in order to help 
create a timeless quality to your room. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be too rigid in it. You don't want to, I have two lamps. I have two side chairs. I have two tables. I have Mm -hmm. two throws. You know, I have uh, two pillows on each side. You want to shake it up a little bit, but symmetry will definitely uh, please the eye uh, and therefore transcend time and allow you to start creating this really beautiful, timeless quality. Right. And another thing I want to talk about is your mindset. I think when you're focused on trends, you're really focused on copying somebody else's look. And I want you to step back from that and look at your home, think about your own style, and think about creating your own signature style. To me, that is the goal here, is for you to create your own signature style that really transcends time. And this is about filling your house with things that you love, that are meaningful to you. And if you're following trends, you're not really being true to yourself and being true to you. So even if something's on trend and you want to buy it, can I ask yourself, would you want that if it weren't really trendy right now? Oh, that's a great question to Mm -hmm. ask. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that I think go into creating your own personal style, but I want you to really step back and think about this as your own style. And does this fit your style? Is this a part of who you are rather than is this considered cool right now? I think that's kind of more the question to ask yourself. That's a good one. Yeah, that definitely should be explored before Mm -hmm. you start purchasing anything. If you're talking about a timeless room. Obviously, there's going to be some fabrics in there. Mm -hmm. You want to pick some classics. You really want to pick the best you can afford. You want to pick fabrics that are subtle in their coloration and probably the pattern as well. Maybe integrating some texture. You don't want to go all out on a big floral sofa or something like that because that will easily become tiresome. Been there, done that. Right. A couple of times. Right. And, you know, sometimes you think to yourself, how could this fabric be in a lot? $200 ah. a yard or oh, what have you. Yeah. Try to find the best deal. But if you're going to purchase things that you want to last a long time, quality matters. And quality is very obvious in fabrics. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm looking for natural fabrics rather than synthetics. You're going to look for natural materials, wool, linen, cotton, sometimes silks, although silks are very hard to work with. They're not very unforgiving as far as stains and so forth. Uh, for fabrics, I think neutrals are a great way to go for your your furniture items. And then you can add the the patterns in more with your accents with pillows and throws. The fabrics, I think when you're looking at the patterns also, the classic looks, the things that are the patterns that are going to really stay in style for the long haul are the simpler patterns. The more ornate a pattern, probably the more dated it's going to look later on. So we're looking for classic stripes maybe a polka dot. I still think leopard is classic. Uh, So I'm thinking a lot of two color prints, maybe tone on tone. Right. Very simple, very simple patterns. Yeah. Maybe a damask, but it's just, you know, it's Mm -hmm. just some sort of relief. It's all the same color, something like that. And then yes, you can always add in something fun as we've discussed, you know, many times you can add a little pop, that something that's removable in a toss pillow, something like that. Here's one that I think it will be harder for some people to do, but think about this. Oftentimes, if you have a somewhat traditional style room, your art is along the same lines as well. It's a pastoral or it's a, a floral or it's just something that goes with the look a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. And that's nice, but that's a little boring and it it doesn't really transcend it may sort of date you like if it's like a thomas kincaid painting or something Mm. like that Mm -hmm. or it's something like oh it all came out around that time and i see how that you know kind of matches the look that's going on here Mm -hmm. there's something about creating a timeless look that also has this little edge to it that keeps it fresh Right? Because you're saying like ex- exactly what Anita said. It's timeless is not only just looking back and not being able to really date it, but it's also going 
forward. So it needs this freshness at the same Mm -hmm. time. And I think you can really achieve that when you juxtapose these more classic furniture lines and traditional colors and whatnot with some interesting, more, I'm using air quotes, modern art. So what about some interesting black and white photo? Mm -hmm. Uh, What about something in the abstract? Just something that a piece of art, and it doesn't have to be painted by an artist. You can get something on all these uh, wonderful sites like Minted and and other sites that have reproductions of original art or just reproductions of black and white photos. That helps create a timeless look. Yes. Here's the thing. Kelly and I both love to save money, but it's really something I would not buy at a a discount store. The art. The art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when you go into a store like that, they have certain art that is mass produced and you're going to buy something that's pretty much like something that's being sold to thousands of people, just even in your town. It's not going to have a unique feel to it. So I think for artwork, I prefer to go to someplace like Etsy or Minted or someplace like that and find something that very much appeals to me because the artwork, I think that mass produced artwork definitely has a feeling of non-originality sometimes, and it's not going to help you have that classic look. You want your artwork to be unique to you and your personality. And so I think it's worth an extra time and effort into finding things that really are meaningful to you. Yeah. And we have that whole episode on- Mm -hmm. um, It's a very good, it's full of sources. Yeah. That's a, that's a good one. And that, I think that's what it's called, right? Wall art sources or something like that. Well, we'll We'll, include the link. We'll link link that. Right. We'll link that. Artwork. I think the word scares people off too because they feel like, oh, that's going to be a lot of money, but it's it really not. And there not are a lot, sure. yeah. And there are a lot of wonderful sources that it's just as Anita saying, it's just not something that's being churned out in some factory somewhere where there are thousands and thousands of them in all, all the home goods across the country, right? So find a, a small company doing something interesting. Take one of your own photos and take it to a Kinko's and have it blown up. You know, ex- explore different options of mm-hmm. of putting things on your wall and try it. If you're not sure you're going to like that, look through this. You'll see this happening, this mashup of traditional look and modern art in, in a lot of shelter magazines like you know, El Decor might not be one you normally pick up, but I guarantee you, if you even stand in the aisle in the grocery store long enough and you flip through the El Decor, you're going to see that going on. House Beautiful, very similar, Architectural Digest, much higher end looks mm-hmm. are going to incorporate this traditional look with some edgy art. Mm -hmm. Right. And then keep in mind the scale. We've talked about this before, but it's very important. Even the best artwork, if you have a big wall and just a little piece of artwork, it's not going to really look the best it can. So when you're picking out this artwork, make sure you pick it out the right scale for your wall. Hey, we'll be right back with the rest of the show, but keep listening so we can continue bringing you DTT. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. 
pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free... That's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. We talked about fabrics a little bit. How about incorporating some prints? Would you suggest doing that to achieve a timeless look? I think it really depends on the person because there's so many ways that you can add some prints with pillows and soft goods that are not expensive investments for the room. Mm -hmm. So obviously the solid fabrics are going to stay in style much longer. I just would be very careful about certain patterns on on furniture. You know, I have a blue buffalo check on some chairs of mine. Mm -hmm. Still, it's a very simple pattern. It's a classic pattern, but I don't do a lot of patterns on my furniture. Yeah. I totally agree. Not on the furniture, but if you were going to incorporate Mm -hmm. it Mm -hmm. in toss pillows or even draperies or something like that, you generally want to stay with three. If you're going to do patterns, you might want to stay with with three patterns only Mm -hmm. and then vary the scale. Mm -hmm. And that is just a great tip for any time of room that you're trying to uh, achieve a certain look, but definitely in a timeless room, you that is a really great formula. So a a large, a medium, and a small in differing degrees. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that's a great way to uh, add something to the room. And it really kind of, dep- to me, depends on the room. If the room has a lot going on, big, gorgeous, colorful artwork, you may not need much on mm-hmm. the on the furniture. But if there's not uh, maybe enough color on the wall, or it just really kind of depends on the room. Right. Another way to add a timeless quality to your decor is adding some global accent. By global, I don't mean going to, uh, what's that place called? World, world market, market. <laughs> and like buying some just random thing that looks like it came from another country. No, really interesting things that you may have picked up in your travels or maybe it's places that you want to go. It adds a cultivated sense uh, to the room, which definitely helps transcend time. What do you think about that, Anita? Oh, I think so too. And I would add to that the other thing that really adds a groundedness to a room and a very unique feeling to it is to make sure you have some vintage or antique pieces in the room. They don't even have to be furniture, but something old in there is going to give it a weightiness and a timeless feel like this room's been around for a while. It wasn't just put together yesterday. And that adds to that timeless feeling. Oh, yeah. I couldn't agree more. I'm surprised that I didn't have that on my own list. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. Yeah, really? Okay. So this, another one. I'm coming up with the hard ones, I think. I think the art is harder and I, this one is hard. Hide your technology the mm, best you mm-hmm. can. We've discussed the TV in specific episodes. It comes up again and again when we talk about living rooms and family rooms and whatnot. But if you're really jonesing for a timeless room. If you've got a big giant TV screen in there, it's going to be, it's almost devastating to to achieving that look. It's very difficult to achieve a truly timeless room with the big TV. If room is done really well and there's a television in there, okay, maybe you can work around it. But let's see if you can clear up 
some of the other things. Does anybody really need a whole full on stereo now? You know, unless you're somebody who loves vinyl and then maybe you can get away with a really cool uh, record player that kind of works. If you've got equipment like that or DVD players and things like that, if this is your living room and you can put them someplace else and you want to achieve a timeless look, then I would put them someplace else Mm -hmm. because that, you know, honestly, once you buy a piece of that type of technology, probably by the time you get it home and plug it in, there's something that's better anyway and smaller and <laughs> yeah. all of that. So True. it doesn't help you know, to be timeless with those because I was, certainly if you've got a big Betamax someplace, you need to get rid of that. But uh, <laughs> these things are definitely a drawback to s- style anyway and definitely – achieving this timeless quality. So I know that's a tough one. I think you've touched on this, but the mix of the antique, the traditional, the vintage, the mix with traditional and contemporary is such a great way to bring things into the now. And I love the mix of the both because if you have just the very new contemporary things, I think the room can feel cold But if you have just the traditional, it can feel frumpy. So the mix of the two together, I think, gives it an edginess and a groundedness all at the same time in a way that can be really beautiful. So it's it really is about all about the the mixing of elements. Yeah, so agree. So it's probably worth repeating again, because when we first started off, we said for a truly timeless room, you're going to have this perfect balance of Mm -hmm. old and Mm -hmm. new, as Anita Mm -hmm. just mentioned, luxurious and lived in. Mm -hmm. and classical and modern. So keep those things in mind when you are approaching your room and then incorporate the tips that we've given you today. And we know you can all do this. And if you do, and when you do, send us some photos. We'd love to see that. Yes, we love the photos. And I'm always so impressed. We're always emailing each other saying, did you see that beautiful uh, listener's room? So we, we love seeing your rooms. Yeah, so fun. Anita, what's the IG feature today? Oh, it's Southern Home Magazine. And such they put out such a gorgeous print magazine. So I knew their feed would be wonderful. And it did not disappoint. These rooms are stunning. The style, uh, mostly traditional. There's some outdoor spaces and indoor spaces. But everything is so unique. And again, over-the-top gorgeous. No detail spared I think you're going to love it. BritBox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Archie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story. The dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting, but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter, Jennifer Grant, and ex-wife, Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing. And it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. 
Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. We have one more thing today. It's Workman's Friend. And it is a skin cream that works like a protective glove on your hands for gardening. But people can use it if they work on cars or if they do, if they paint. This stuff is amazing. It feels so great. It goes on just like a moisturizer, but it really creates this protective glove on your hand. But you don't even notice it. Your hands just feel really soft. I absolutely love it. So it's called Workman's friend. And your argon oil Oh, did you try it? Yes. I've been using it every night. It's, <gasps> I think it's doing a great job. So I'm, I'm very excited about it. I think it's really nice too. In fact, I was reading, I don't have eczema, but I have friends that have eczema and it's supposed to be a great treatment for that. Oh, I bet. It mm-hmm. feels so nice. And then the bonus mm-hmm. is once you rub it on your face, like you have obviously on your hands and then you can just uh, sort of rub it into all your cuticles. Yummy. Well, it, it's great on your hair too. If you've got the flyaway hair, mm-hmm. you know, any kind of frizzy hair, it's yep. great for that too. It is. Yeah. I love all these natural products. I really do. Yeah. And I love them because when you have a crush, like I bought that suitcase that you had. Like, I know. We like, buy each I'm other's like, oh, crushes all the time. One. Yeah. We've got, <laughs> you know, you guys let us know if you have crushes too, we could do like a listener crush oh, yeah. too. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, think yeah. about that. Oh, I, we've gotten so many great tips from listeners. So I very much appreciate it. Please keep them coming. Thanks so much for hanging out with us once again. We had so much fun. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Want to talk to us? Well, we really want to talk to you. So let's schedule a design consult. And Nita and I are here to give you individualized, actionable advice on how to create the beautiful home you want and deserve. It's so easy to schedule a design consult with us. Simply click the link in the show notes or head to decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash consult. When we talk to you on the scheduled time, we will be ready with so many great tips, advice, and yes, tricks. So sign up today for a design consult. We can't wait to talk to you. 